This uh, uh, idea of promoting uh, development or production of SMN2, SMN protein, um, particularly with the antisense oligonucleotide, um, has not only been approached uh, with this particular um, science and the intrathecal administration, but there have been uh, attempts um, and studies that have done this um, with oral approaches as well. Maybe you can share your experience with that, Claudia. Yeah, so we're talking about small molecules. And the one that's more advanced is Rizdaplan. And what this is, it's an oral medication given once a day that works in a very similar fashion as uh, Nusinersen does in that it increases alternative splicing of the SMN2 uh, gene so that more SMN uh, protein is um, produced. I think a difference um, other than that it's administered orally is that it also penetrates systemically, goes uniformly into the central nervous system with a one-to-one -one penetration, at least in many species, including monkeys, uh, so that uh, blood levels are thought to um, reflect concentrations in the brain. And so SMN protein has been uh, monitored and found to increase several fold with treatment. Um, so there are several studies, and there are the fish studies. Don't ask me why they're called fish. Um, firefish is the infant study, and, and that's a very exciting s study, and, and we just heard about the results of the phase one study, um, which is the dose-finding component. There's now a pivotal trial underway, which is an, an open-label treatment um, after what we learned with the controlled babies that did not do so well, and we missed that window. I think that studies going forward have not included a, a sham control or a control study. And what they found is that even though these infants were older than the children or the infants that were in the NDEAR study and even in the AVXS 101, that they did very well, that a significant proportion of them improved at least three points on their CHOP and 10 that if they didn't have uh, swallowing difficulties, they didn't develop swallowing difficulties, and that they didn't reach endpoint. And uh, similar to the Indir study, where the, the outcome was survival, and uh, endpoint of survival or permanent ventilation, defined as 16 hours on, on, on a ventilator or a tracheostomy, uh, if they didn't have these issues, they did not develop them, uh, which was very striking given that they were a bit older. Um, um, and it was safe and well tolerated, and no child or infant had to be withdrawn from the study. Um, and uh, they were able to sit, I think 40-something percent of them that had reached the age of sitting um, were able to sit. And there's actually one child that's standing. We saw that presented at the AAN meeting. Um, very exciting. And also the SMN protein in blood increased several fold, between two and six fold. Um, which is uh, quite dramatic uh, in the increase. There's also a sunfish, which is an older study. Um, that older children. Older children, I'm sorry. Older, it's later onset, uh, SMA, and it includes adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have 2 to 12 and greater than 12 to 24. And compared to the other studies, which the younger, uh, the older onset CHERISH study that you alluded to, that were children, um, this study includes adults with type 2 SMA mm -hmm. and that have scoliosis and that have more advanced disease so that their response hasn't been as uh, robust as what we saw with uh, the CHERISH in that uh, they had maybe two and a half points, I think 2.6 points on the MFM. They, uh, they use the MFM, which is the motor functional measure, which differs from what we've used here in the United States, which is the Hammersmith functional motor scale extended, where three points is uh, meaningful changes. Um, and, but the MFM is thought to be a little more sensitive and to include items that would address upper limb mobility. Um, but they also have the Hammersmith. Uh, so those are, are very exciting studies. And they're going to be submitting soon to the FDA for approval. So hopefully soon, if it's approved, we'll have an alternative. There's another study that they have called Jewelfish mm -hmm. that is for children who have been on 
a modifying agent, and, uh, and that includes nusinersen, and they are advancing it to include AVXS-101 as well. And it seems like prior treatments do not affect the response uh, to uh, Rizdiplan. 